The Board of Education released its short list of three candidates for superintendent today. Two are from Hawaii, the third from the mainland. They will face a rigorous interview process, and the new superintendent should be decided early this summer. Jen Boniza follows up. The BOE releasing the names of the final three candidates, Daryl Galera, Keith Hayashi, and Caprice Young. Galera has more than 40 years in public education in Hawaii, including time as a district superintendent and leadership consultant. Hayashi has more than 30 years' experience. He's been a complex area superintendent and is the current interim super. As for Young, she's the only candidate who has a doctorate in education, and she's worked in education for 20-plus years. She's the only candidate that is not from Hawaii. While many say the new superintendent should have experience working in the islands, they are open to other options. It's important to be able to bring in fresh perspectives, and again, we've gone through this shared pandemic, and I know there are great districts out there that have really weathered the storm well. The Superintendent Advisory Committee provided feedback on the candidates. For Galera, they say while he spoke of the need for transformation and excellence, he could have provided more details on the implementation of those concepts. They say Hayashi talked about data and multiple measures, but did not provide specific details on what those measures would be or how they would be incorporated. Overall, they say he lacked specific details and concisely articulated plans. The most favorable reviews were given to Young. They say she clearly articulated how she would build a team and that she referenced the use of a stakeholder map to guide communication and engagement and a clearly defined educational philosophy. The candidates will formally be announced May 5th during the BOE's meeting. Two weeks later, they'll be interviewed live during a special meeting. The board will discuss their responses and may even vote to recommend someone at that time. Jen Boniza, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.